Hello, I welcome you once again to Christ Without Borders. <clears throat> now, the day before yesterday, early in the morning, and then early this morning, the one of some of what I'm being shown in the spirit is some people, a group of people who are trying to invoke, project, activate some kind of chaos, distraction, mayhem, gloom, darkness in Ghana's atmosphere. A group of people who are trying to invoke, project, activate some kind of chaos, distraction, darkness, mayhem into Ghana's atmosphere. But it will not come to pass. Who said a thing and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not? It will not come to pass. God did not reveal to me what that group was, if there was a name for them or a group of what people who are doing that kind of thing. If it comes through with that, I'm, I'm going to come here and I'm going to talk. I'm going to, I'm going to announce it. You know, it's very important that everybody, you know, say a prayer for Ghana. Hmm? And I don't understand. I mean, have you lost yourselves, your, 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 your sense of national identity? Have you lost your sense of national identity? Which is primary, before anything else, before any, whatever you are part of, or whatever subgroup you belong to? Have you lost your sense of national identity to be invoking, projecting, trying to activate some kind of chaos into Ghana's, at Ghana's atmosphere? I'm telling you. And you have to be very dark to, 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 even be, to even perceive something like that. You have to be very dark to even perceive something like that. Don't you have relatives in other places? Don't you have relatives, siblings, loved ones, friends from JSS, SSS, in other places who will be affected when this, this, this evil you are trying to invoke, you are trying to project into Ghana's atmosphere? You have to be very dark to go to that level. It's very serious. I've seen it the day before yesterday, and I've seen it even coming into today. And you, you, it's, it's amazing. And you see, people don't understand. When you say something is God's prized possession, a lot of people don't get it. They don't understand it. God's prized possession. Ghana is God's prized possession. And anybody that tries to fuck around, they will find out. I've come here several times and I've spoken about the other attributes of God. It's not only a God of love. It's not only a God of patience, love. It's not only a God of second chances. He's also a man of war. It's a God of vengeance. It's a God of destruction. So whatever group you are, and I don't know how any sane, sane person, sane, right-thinking Ghanaian will, 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 will go to this extent. What are you trying to do? You are trying to invoke, invoke destruction into our atmosphere. What is wrong with you? And it's not one person. It's a group of people who have come together for that. It's a group of people who have come together for that thing. But it will never come to pass. What about you people are planning to never come to pass? Listen. Any gathering, any meeting, wherever you people are meeting, wherever you people are meeting to do this, this whatever it is, if it's not for the peace, if it's not for the progress, if it's not for the prosperity of the nation of Ghana, it will never come to pass. It will never, ever come to pass. And because this kind of gatherings you people are engaging yourself in, <clears throat> it's not for the progress, prosperity, 
keys of this nation. Understanding has been withdrawn from among you. Whenever you people meet, whenever you people come together, understanding has been withdrawn from among you. You people will never have understanding when you come together. So far as that meeting, that coming together is not for the peace, the progress and prosperity of this nation, understanding has been withdrawn from among your midst. This is what I saw. This is concerning Ghana. And yesterday I was shown another thing about the United States. I'm seeing some kind of standoff between the, the military or the National Guard. You know, when, when, you, when, you, when you deploy the U.S. military on home soil, I think they, they rather decide to call the National Guard. I'm seeing some kind of standoff between I saw the U.S. military because I saw, I saw the... Uh, I saw the Humvees, you know, the, car, the hammer cars they use with their gun on top of it. I saw Humvees, you know, at certain, um, some kind of, some kind of um, formation, you know, standing, uh, positioned at certain places. And also, on the opposite side, what I saw were rocket launchers. Now, these people who, who these people who the U.S. military has had a standoff on what I was shown in this vision. The people the U.S. military had a standoff with, they were, they had, they were, they were well armed. They were well armed. They had whatever ammunition they need to do whatever they want. They were well armed. I saw several rocket launchers in their midst. I saw rocket launchers being pointed to a certain, I don't like, I, that building was not clear at a distance. They had rocket launchers. Some kind of standoff. I know, I know the Mexican cartels are well resourced and are armed to the teeth when it comes to ammunition. But the country was not, it wasn't Mexico. This is US, US soil. Some kind of standoff between the US military and, and, and a different kind of group which were well armed. So, if you are in the United States, say a prayer for the United States. I've said it already. From now to Donald Trump is sworn, is sworn in as a president. And even on that day of his swearing in, prayers have to go up. I'm kind of standoff. I've done my part, you know. So... Pray for the United States, you know, so that nothing, you know, comes in between, nothing, nothing, um, nothing take things to the left or move things in a, to a side or turn things upside down. Another thing, if God has called you as, um, if God has called you as a watchman in any nation and in any country, this is not a time to sleep. This is the time to stand on your watch. Because the spirit, spirit realm is very busy with activities, you know, skirmishes here and there. You know, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a tussle behind the scenes for power. If God has called you as a watchman over your family, over whatever your country, over whatever region, this is not a time to sleep. It's a time to stand on your watch. So this, this is what I have for, um, yeah, this is what I have to share. But any, 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 any evil, any distraction, people are imagining, any vain imagination against the peace, progress of the nation of Ghana, it will never come to pass. It will never come to pass. I don't know, I don't care what you people call yourself. It will never come to pass.